So I have jalapeno cheese balls in my mind and I'm really looking to make these delicious appetizers for my family. And I'm going to be using these Britannia cheese cubes which are lying right here and they're going to add a delicious taste to the dish. So I'm just prepping up and once I'm done, I'm just going to dive right in and then show you how to make this jalapeno cheese balls. So I love, love, love these Britannia cheese cubes. They're super handy and I find them really convenient to use at home. And the best part about these is very simple to use, easy to open and it grates well and it's absolutely delicious. I'm just going to show you. Notice how beautifully it peels off, right? And it's super simple. And I'm, what I'm going to do now is to quickly chop this cheese up and I'm going to make small tiny bits of this cheese so which I can add it into the jalapeno cheese balls as a stuffing. Great, now I have my cheese chopped and I'm going to sort of mix up the mashed potatoes together which is going to have like that kick of jalapenos. So I have some mashed potatoes like I told you in my refrigerator it's important to have chilled potatoes so now I'm going to add all my flavoring ingredients which is the finely chopped garlic and the jalapenos parsley and of course that sprinkle of salt all right so we'll just mix all of this together and then after that i'm going to be stuffing it with the britannia cheese cubes which we chopped great so now i'm ready to shape them into balls and i'm going to divide them into portions shape them into balls flatten it and then stuff it with cheese so i'm just going to prep up for that so before I fill it up, I'm going to go ahead and grease my palms a little bit with a little bit of oil so it's easier to sort of fill it, flatten it and then stuff it, okay? So I'm going to take a portion, we'll flatten it. So I'm going to be putting in a little bit of those tiny bits of cheese cubes that we chopped. Great. So the best part about these cheese cubes is that um, Apart from the fact that they grate beautifully, um, they also melt like magic, okay, and when grilled. And they taste absolutely flavorful and uh, when it's melted and it tastes really nice. So I'm just going to go ahead and cover this and shape it into a ball. And another part about these Britannia cheese cubes is that, you know, I use them in multiple ways. This is just one of them where you chop them or you can even put it along with pineapple and grapes and olives and serve it as an appetizer. What I do most often is because they're small and handy, it works well over dosas, making cheese dosas. Even my children uh, very easily just open it and then grate it over cheese dosas and just use it. So that's how wonderful these cheese cubes are and this is going to be melting inside when we are going to cook it. Great. So I'm going to flatten one more and I can't wait to fry them and take a dip into it. I'm just going to go ahead and fill all of these up and then put it in the refrigerator for chilling for about a good 30 minutes because only when the potatoes are chilled well will they hold together and then fry well too. So after this is done, I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. Okay. So while the jalapeno cheese balls are getting refrigerated, I'm going to prep up a few ingredients like making the breadcrumb crust which is going to be on the outside. For that, I'm just going to put in some breadcrumbs into my bowl, okay, and then some herbs to give it some nice flavor, okay, so it's mixed herbs which you get readily in the market, it's not something that's fancy, and then I have some salt, let me just sprinkle just a bit, okay, and we'll just give it a mix. So now this breadcrumb mixture is ready. I'm just going to go ahead and put it to the side. All right, these are chilled. It's nice and firm and I'm ready to fry them. And I'm going to be using a paniaram pan to be pan frying these uh, uh, jalapeno cheese balls. By now you would know that I'm a big fan of paniaram pans, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and preheat the pan and I'm going to allow it to sort of heat up while I'm prepping and drizzle a little bit of oil into each one of those cavities. Okay, and I'm just going to allow it to preheat. Okay, and now my next step is to actually toss these jalapeno cheese balls into the breadcrumb and the egg mixture and then put it in the pan for frying. So let me get started. Right, so my step is to dip these into the egg mixture so it gets a little wettish texture on the outside and then toss it in the breadcrumb mixture. Okay, and I'm going to do a double coating. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and dip it again and then put it on the bread mixture. So the more number of times you do this, the better the crust that you get. Okay, so that's it. 
So now that I have these, I'm just going to keep this to the side, do a few more, and then put all of them into the paniyaram pan in just one shot. So I'm just going to go ahead and add these into my paniyaram pan. And pan fry these until they're nicely browned and crisp. So this is going to take about three to four minutes. I'm going to go ahead and drizzle some oil on the top and we'll pan fry them. Ensure that you pan fry it on medium heat. You don't want to keep it on too high because I want the cheese inside to get nicely melted and beautifully melted. So on medium heat, it'll act slowly and then cook beautifully. All I can think now is the molten cheese which is inside right now. So let's just get to fry them. I'm going to use like a small spoon to help toss it in between, okay? There you go. So it's already starting to get brown because we had preheated our paniyaram pan. Notice how beautifully brown it's getting and it's got a nice crust and that's because we double coated it with uh, eggs and breadcrumbs like more than two times. Great. So we'll wait for a few more minutes. So I've turned off the heat and it's got a beautiful crust. Notice that paniyaram pans can fry, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and take it and put it in my parchment paper which is gonna absorb the remaining oil and then show you how to whip up a delicious dip with a four pepper cheese spread, which is Britannia's four pepper cheese spread. They come with amazing flavors. I'm gonna to talk to you about it in just a bit, okay? So there you go, and I'm all set with this, and I'm gonna keep this to the side and quickly whip up uh, the dip, and then can't wait to take a bite. So I'm ready to make my dipping sauce to have it along with these jalapeno cheese balls, okay? And I have this Britannia cheese spread with me, which is a faux pepper tango flavor, which is one of my favorites. These Britannia cheese spreads come in six different flavors and all of them are bursting with delectable flavors. The best part about these spreads is that it spreads like magic and um, and it's absolutely creamy and delicious. I use them in multiple different ways in my kitchen, from making pasta sauces to fondues and dips like these, which you know are happen in a jiffy because it's packed with flavor and taste. Great, so I've added my cheese spread, Britannia cheese spread right into my bowl. I'm gonna keep this aside. Then I have some hung yogurt with me, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add it into this. And some chopped parsley adds a lot of flavor, right? Parsley is a great herb and I like adding it to dips. It's one of my favorite herbs when it comes to dips. And I'm just gonna sprinkle some salt to taste, just a pinch, because the cheese also has packed with a lot of flavor and taste, so you just wanna ensure you taste it. So I'm ready to serve it into my bowl. And that's it. And I can't wait to take a bite of this. And I'm waiting to see how beautifully the cheese is melted inside. Okay. And let's just open it. Oh, look at that beauty. The creamy cheese on the inside. It looks so nice and delicious. I can't wait to dip it into my dipping sauce and grab a bite of it. All right. Let's just dip into this four pepper cheese bread sauce. Hmm. Absolutely delicious. My goodness, the creamy mashed potatoes. Hmm, jalapenos and the faux pepper cheese spread dip. Simply lip smacking. Absolutely delicious. Creamy, something that you must try in your kitchen. Your kids and your family will love this dish. So you must try this recipe out and when you do, don't forget to take a snapshot of it and share your cheesy kitchen moments with us. We'd love to hear back from you.